How's everybody doing today? This is Chuck from Mining with Uncle Chuck. I hope you're well. Well, these miners have been sitting in the box unopened for over a week. And before I can crack these things and set them up, we've actually got to go inside the mining room and deal with some things inside. We'll talk about it. Hang in. All right, we'll step inside here. I haven't done any filming in this room in a while because usually it's loud as hell. And today you hear no miners running whatsoever. Why is that? Because pretty much all the miners, except for I think one or two, I think that's an E9 Pro down here, are all CKB miners. So Nervos Network, why are they not up and running? Because last month, November 19th, 2023, they had their first halving. Now, what does that mean? Well, like Bitcoin and Litecoin, every four years, the minor rewards are cut in half. Now, prior to the halving, these were really solid miners. When I originally got them over a year ago, yeah, they are making on a high side anywhere from between 24, 25 bucks a day. And at a low, they were about nine bucks, I guess. And up until the halving, last month they were around 13, 14 bucks a day. And that was profit after electrical. And I'm about 11 cents a kilowatt at this building here. So I need to do a bunch of cleanup, yes, We've got the miners outside of the room, and to be honest, they could all be in here right now, but we're using them to heat the building here. We don't have to turn on any of that, our big gas heaters, which is a good thing, but I have got some new CASPA miners. I need to make some room and get these things the hell out of here so I can get some fresh blood in here and start mining. But while we're in here, well, you know what? Again, it's a fairly small room but we've got our exhaust system that we have here with inline duct fans, so all the heat being pulled out of the room. And if we look through here, and I'll see if we can see down below, you'll see that there is two vents on the wall with fresh air coming inside to the actual room, duct fans on that side with actual filtration as well, 20 by 20 by one in a box filter outside in the duct. Let's pull all of these miners the heck out of here and I am going to kind of wash the floors, clean up, and then I'm going to crack those boxes with those new Caspa ASICs and power some things back up. All right, so I've got everything stacked up out here and, you know, a nice little hefty stack here of miners. And you know what? This is kind of one of the casualties of being a miner in general. I mean, there is so many factors that can play into profitability and the longevity of these miners that we dig into our pocket and spend a ton of cash for. You know, obviously in this situation with the Nervos Network and the CKB miners, well, they had a having. If the currency or the, the token is not high enough in value to kind of offset the having of the rewards, then all of a sudden these suckers are flat and they are well below water, which has happened here. So I'm gonna continue with the cleaning. You know what, I wanna crack these things and get them up in mining because they've been in boxes too long. So I decided to crack one of them. I have got an Ice River KS3M, so 3,400 watts and six terahash. This is actually my first KS3M, although I do have a KS3L here with a KS3M control board in it. Well, actually mine's a modified control board, so it's a bit of a hybrid. But you know what, I'm gonna get this thing up in mining and you know, until I get the rest of these old miners that were in the room the heck out of here and cleaned up. And I've got my son here, this is Big D, and I'm gonna get him to do the honors. All right, man, get that, you know what to do, get that ethernet cable in there. All right, get some power to this thing. All right, it's in good. Do the honors and flip that switch. We've got lights. All right, let's head to the dashboard, get this connected to a pool and up and mining. So I'm just gonna touch on this real briefly. I've already gone ahead and scan my home network. I use Fing for my IP scanner. Put the IP address in my, my browser at the top. 
click enter. That gets us to the login screen. Simply, I'm going to enter admin and the factory password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are into the actual miner. As I said, I'm only going to touch on this real briefly, but I've had the miner up and running for seven days. I've kind of taken me a bit to get to finishing this video over the holidays here, but you can see that consistently we're sitting at approximately 6.2 terahash or 6,234 giga hash. So we've been very consistent and I wanted to point something out here and this is always a good reason to put a back up stratum address as you can see that there must have been some issue with I'm using Humpool today you can see that I have the US server here and my miner has defaulted down to the EU so obviously a good idea to put in that second stratum address if you're using a pool that has two one of the things I wanted to touch on just real briefly is there's been a number of guys talking on reddit about paid overclocks and results i talked to t swift and you know you probably know him because he has the paid overclocks for a number of the other ice river miners and he told me that it is not possible to safely overclock the ks3m doesn't mean it can't be done but safely overclock so what you get with the factory firmware is what you get so we're supposed to be six terahash as you can see are consistently over that where are we looking at profitability well first of all let's just talk just a little bit so based on today's date december the 29th we're sitting at 0 0.1171 now we have seen a bit of a bump in Casper in the last 24 hours, which is a good thing, but we are looking at the last month. So we are a long ways away from that all time high of 0 0.1496. So Casper has been on a steady downturn over the last month, but let's take a look at the last year. You know what? Casper has been on a real solid tear. You know, again, just my opinion, we are in a correction here. It'd be great if the price could stay high and continue to climb, but that's not realistic. So let's head over to Mine the ASIC. So they're telling us $60.29 after electrical based on 10 cents a kilowatt. Now the KS3M is new to me, but I do have that modified KS3L just over that six terahash. So basically the same miner. And it seems like just less than a month ago, I was close to a hundred bucks profit with that thing. Yes, Ice River has reduced the prices on their miners and Bitmain has followed suit with their KS3s and reduced their prices as well. So that makes all of these Caspa miners more attractive to you and I to go out and purchase them. But, and this is a big but, if we go out and purchase these things, get them online and hashing, it's going to continue to climb the network hash rate. Today, we're already at 130.66 petahash. So the chance of ROI based on the prices today and that emission schedule, the mining reward reduction every month is pretty slim. That's it for today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now tomorrow, Saturday the 30th, I am going to do that big giveaway for both of those Ice River KS0 Overclock Miners. Thank you all again. We hit over 20,000 subscribers. Actually, we're at 22,000 subscribers. This couldn't happen if it wasn't for all of you. I'm going to do a short video tomorrow, announce those winners, and I'll post them on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. So good luck. Peace out.